welcome back, back, ladies, gentlemen, and people of all gender presentations. Alright, yep. We were uh, supposed to do that in unison. I figured I'd let you have the later half. Alright, <sighs> here we are, back to the Mizoraki Conservation District, uh, wrapping this up. Which I mistakenly called a conversation district in the last recording. <laughs> well, especially considering that the first time I said it correctly. Yeah, that was it. <clears throat> so, we were gonna wait to talk about this and uh, and this teen rated game. Fangasm! Oh god, yes. <laughs> okay, so... so if an orgasm leads to ejaculation, fangasm leads to. Mm, depends on the fan in question. Can you usually lead to, like. Well, I mean, give me a le uh, legi legitimate example. Like, if I really like... It, it's just a joking term. Okay, but... Like, I mean, that's all it is. But what are you What are you ejaculating, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Fanfix, fan art. So basically, if I... Enthusiasm. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm a really big fan of Crash, and I'm saying and I'm saying I'm having a fangasm over him, it's like saying that I'm um, ejecting Crashes out of my penis. No. Sort of. No. 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 You just, it, it's a joking term where it's just like they, they're they're freaking out about something they're a fan of, and you know, in, in a way that's vaguely reminiscent of an orgasm. Like that's that's all it is. So I think we covered this already. <laughs> um, okay, so an orgasm leads to an ejac ejaculation, but a fan a fan is just by itself it doesn't lead to anything. No, I'm not right, or guess I'm... No, it doesn't. Uh, so, di didn't we do this? Yeah, we, we... We, in we decided to stop. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Exposition. So, and in, the, in, the, in Chapter 4, we were talking about uh, sexual orientation, like how characters can actually have sexuality in video games. Like, you thought Sora was pansexual, right? Yeah, that's my interpretation of it, anyway. Like, you can, and that's one of the nice things about fandom, is you can, you can extrapolate what you know in canon and figure things out for yourself, or say, like, well, you can, you can speculate. Ease. Um, so, if I had to guess, I'm probably, you'd say that, you got Ethan, Karen, and Maya are all straight. Uh, not necessarily. Like, well, you said that Sora was pansexual because of their crime rate. Oh well, that's one. But that's one potential. Uh, that's one potential bit of evidence. But I'm really, I'm not solely extracting from that. Like, it's from what I can tell of his personality and things like that. Because a lot of people said that it was just a really, really strong friendship, and he hadn't seen him in so long that he was just overcome with emotions. Yeah, and and, <laughs> and being said, so he didn't, he didn't have that with Kyrie, who he hadn't seen for just as long, if not longer. Well, he he knew she was safe after the first game, whereas he was still looking for Riku in the second game. Yeah, and well. being age 15, and, and most people are still going through puberty at that age. Yeah, um, go ahead. Um, I, I, go, go ahead, you know, and ju justify all you like. I will still defend pansexual Sora. No, I'm not saying he's not. I'm not saying he's not. He can't be pansexual. Yeah. Like, honestly, I, I don't know why people would be so upset about that. I'm not upset. I know, I know. Okay, and there we go. But it, it, like, it, it, anyway. Although I, I have to admit, it kind of bothers me when I see people um, kind of porn images of like Sora and King of Hearts, like Google search and stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Not Are you, even yeah. with safe search on. Oh, I have a turned off because I'm over. Yeah, yeah. If you turn safe search on, then it tends to make the problem go away. No, I don't care about safe porn images. It's just that I don't like them. Uh, it's like it's not a thing against homosexuality, but if it's like I don't, I don't like. You just don't like seeing 
characters from games you've played, basically. Well, I don't, it's not as uh, hard to explain. I don't mind seeing more of real people. <laughs> um, yeah. But it just kind of gets me how they have to. Like, for example, um, Kaiba and Joey, they, they had a, a sex thing on that. Oh, yeah. No, dude, that's just the nature of fandom. That, that people will ship anything. Which is weird, because Kaiba and Joey hate each other, right? Uh-huh, yep. And someone, and I raised the discussion um, in much lighter context, of course, on page Vince, and they said that because they hate each other, it makes the gay thing between them more, uh... Intense? Or more, uh... Um... Uh, surprising! Because that's not something you'd expect from them. Yeah, and now we're starting to get enemies in the because Kaiba and Joey typically hate each other, then you, you, it's really... Well, and some people have fun with that kind of thing. It's like, oh, they hate they, each they, they hate each other. Clearly, they must, this must translate to them being great in bed with each other. I don't know. Yeah. Follow that kind of thing. It doesn't make sense, except in Homestuck. Yeah. In which case, um, Homestuck. Anyway, when speaking of that, I don't think that's always true, like, because a lot of people have said that when you fight a lot with someone, it means you like them. Yeah, that's not necessarily true. I would be very cautious of believing that statement. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't really, yeah, I'm just, I'm, there, uh, there are exceptions, like, I think we used to fight a lot when we were younger. Yeah. Does that mean we're sexually attractive to each other? No. Teleporter. So we could, and we talked even more about the sexuality. Yeah. My sexuality is really tricky. It can be kind of tricky, yeah. yeah. Because with heterosexuality, okay, it's it, yeah, male it's, and female, homosexuality is male and male, or female and female, but bi? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it can be kind of a mess. And it's, admittedly, I'm not very good at explaining it. Uh, I, I'm directing people to resources. If you are curious about which sources I'm using, uh, go ahead and ask in the comments. I'll totally, I'll be glad to uh, point you in the direction of the people I've been learning these things from. And uh, stuff, and things of that nature. We'll keep this the discussion about sex like in a second. Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm, I'm basically... Uh, I think that's basically all that really needs to be said about it. Um, and now we can just focus on trying to kill lasted ten goes. Ten, I always call it ten goes. Ten goes. Ten yeah. Just remember, kids, there's nothing wrong with talking about sex in the same. Sex is good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, straight. Yeah, sure. Um, well, like, the friend I mentioned earlier, I told him how, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, do we really need to go into detail about this? I'm pretty sure you're... I'm, I'm pretty sure they're kind of, the, the viewers are watching this for PSU stuff. Like, like really. Well, okay, then I'll just imply it. He, just, and, he and I would get really detailed about sex, but... And that was okay with them, but... Um, my friend here doesn't doesn't mind it at all as long as it's not personal. Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, so oh, it, and reason. Uh, yeah. Try, getting back to the 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 game that we're playing. Um, ah. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to go for the teleporter? Uh, I oh. swear you have a you have a terrible sense of direction. In Just, recent news. Thankfully not suicide, we lost, uh, Joan Rivers, but... Yeah, I'm not as, like, I know this is gonna make me sound like I'm a callous ass, but I'm not as broken up. Well, I'm not, yeah, yeah I'm not gonna like either, but the, just the general, just the general death of any person is sad. Yeah, but, given some of the things she's said about people, that's... So that's something. So that's something. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's kind of the thing I'm not a fan of about this game's design is the the emphasis on just whacking, hacking your way through walls of HP. I I, I kind of prefer it when a, when a game engages me a little more tactically. I, I have to think a little more about what it is that I do. And then the enemies are more in engaging. Oh, for the love of fuck. It just doesn't want to get TV. Like, it doesn't want to get direct TV. Direct right, what now? Uh, anyway. I'm wondering why we have to stand on a specific spot to do this. I guess it's a geo Out. Yeah, no, this is just the easy I, I'm just wondering why we can't just stand somewhere random like we could with the, like, the photon eraser. I'm trying to explain that I just didn't bother to put files on the bottom of the arena because I already know what to do. Yeah. Boom, C4 purified. Karen, Hugo, I don't think ice bubbles are gonna help us here. Yeah. <laughs> and now let's move on. But Karen's, uh, Maya's crossbow has, um, Yak Banda. Which is fire. Yep. I know all the NPCs have been in this place by now. Yeah, see, this is why I. This is why I tell you you should play the Legends. Like, it's. Maya's, Maya's bow, crossbow, so Kuba Apinde, her staff is a Batnera, Hugo has a brand for the saber, and Karen has twin dagger. Or no, twin knife. I hate burrowing enemies. Especially ones with tons of hit points. Or ones that can't, that don't stay up for very long, so you have to spend hours chasing Actually, the, the ice... The ice caution don't burrow so much. Yeah, I'm just like that's that's one of my keys. Oh. I I hate enemies. Oh, I thought you were healing. That that constantly escape from you like that. And there's it's like they're specifically designed to antagonize. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure the in the other games yeah. color the items. The are yeah. Yeah. Here they are, all, all the items are just the the all the items. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Now, were the traps available at this for Karen, she's taking a lot of damage because of her fire line shield. Yeah. Elemental weaknesses. The one thing I like ah. about the one thing I like about Fantasy Star Portable 2 is that the instead of having a, a set weapon like Cuba's brand and a oh thank you Maya. And a set skill level. Is loading. Hugo has it too. I don't know why Karen does it, but anyway, in, in, the, in this game, each all the NPCs have a um, a set 
scale. Like, Huga, with this brand, can only do Gravity Strike level uh, 1 through 10. And once he gets his Rapier at level 50, he can only do his Gravity Strikes upgraded to, to level 21. But in Fantasy Star Portable 2, the weapons and PA skills keep upgrading. Like, they start at a level 1 PA skill. Oh, I see. They, they level up as you they, they level up. No, they level up, yeah, they level But, like, every 20 levels, like, it, it, it changes a lot of times. So, so they upgrade their equipment. Yeah, like, every 20 levels, they get a new, a new level up. But, it, like, I like the certain games, like, every 20 levels, they change. here that they could have just streamed. Like, can you go into first person mode without the goggles? Nope. Not that I, not that I, I don't think so. I know you can in the later games. And I know you can do that with uh, ranged weapons. But, anyway. but like, they couldn't just make your default third person mode putting on the default first person mode putting on the goggles. Like, that's, that just strikes me as, you, you need a specific item for this? But anyway, yeah, I keep, I even keep track of all, I've even had, a, made a timeline on one of my forums where I keep track of everything I do. Like, in, like for August, I uploaded about, about 130 videos for the entire month. It couldn't have been a bit better about the AIs helping you out here, too. This raid is basically Ian just, or Ethan just doing everything himself. Well, Maya and Cuba have their reflectors. It's just, they don't detect it as much as good as they did for the fire thing. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Burn already. Good grief. enemies are just massive sacks of HP. Uh, which, that, that can be fun as an enemy design, but... The one thing people really were annoyed about is that the enemies were harder than the boss. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it was, what was that he dropped? Uh, Oh boy. Come on. Thank you, Maya. I was hoping for a heal, but that worked too. Okay. Better. Oh, that's satisfying. Thank you. 
that that freezing thing. That's why we have Maya. And she takes a least amount of damage from the techniques. Probably because of her eyes. Because of her eyes slide she will then push a little bit. Okay, it's September 6, 12 a.m. We're on the next day! Marathons! Because of the, the latest you've stayed over since you used to stay all, since you used to spend nights here. We're not we're not too old for sleepovers anymore, he's just really busy. So these things need to just get taken. Yeah, their guard is dead. Oh, good. She's actually being useful. Wait. I don't know why it's hard to forget the tech deck. Uh, lazy programming. Yes. Well, it's, it's the same programming that they used to protect, I guess, I guess, for the fire Because uh, Hyuga has a full time effect to kill the Karen, for some reason, doesn't. Uh, I, what? Yeah, she's a monomate, I chose this. You chose it. Easier, I just, just split it in 20 minutes and then add it out and then you can like, like, 
all sports. All right. Please try this so hard next time. A rank, which is just a bunch of money. B rank. B rank. Oh.